Welcome back to Ask a Dev. I'm Chris Pena, and today's question comes from Jeff. Jeff wants to know, what updates should Android developers focus on from Google I.O.? Well, Jeff, it's been a few weeks since Google I.O., and now that we've had time for everything to sink in, there's a lot of great new items available to Android developers. First, we now have a developer preview of the upcoming Android M release, which you can flash on any current gen Nexus device and take for a spin. One of the biggest new features of M is the change to app permissions, which will require you to update your apps. Apps will now prompt users just before they need access to a given permission, like if you're asking for location services or camera, rather than presenting them with a long list of permissions before an install. Android users will also have the ability to turn individual permissions on or off for a given app. This is great for users as it gives them more control over their devices and over their privacy, but it means developers will need to update their apps to handle situations where a user might deny a particular permission. Once M rolls out, all users will have this control over permissions, so don't get caught off guard and make any necessary updates to your app before M becomes publicly available. Also in the M preview are APIs for app linking, auto backup, authentication, including fingerprint authentication, so take a look at the Android developer docs to see more. The team at Google also announced a new design support library, which gives developers an easy way to implement many of the features of material design without too much extra work. It's also compatible all the way back to API 7, which is awesome. Some of the coolest features of the design support library are the ease of dropping a floating action button into a layout and increased control over how the material elements on the screen interact with each other. So now you can add a toolbar to the top of a layout and then set it to either collapse or scroll off the screen completely with just a couple extra lines of XML. There's still a few strange bugs, like square fabs and the navigation buttons tucked behind the status bar, but so far Google's been pretty quick to respond to bug reports. Finally, there's a lot of great new developer tools to make our lives as developers easier and hopefully a little more efficient. The Android Studio 1.3 preview is now available on the Canary channel and comes with new features like full support for debugging and editing your C and C++ code, a new memory profiler, and updates to Gradle with some impressive improvements to build time. Google also announced a new cloud test lab, which allows developers to upload our apps to Google Play and then have them test on the top 20 Android devices. And that's just a quick overview of some of the new tools and features available to Android developers. Check out the videos from the Google I.O. sessions and read the updated developer docs to learn more. Google's also releasing a whole bunch of new Dev Bytes episodes with deeper dives into everything. Well, that's it for this episode. Tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.